Despite wearing a clear press identification, senior Al Jazeera journalist Shireen Abu Akleh was shot dead by Israeli security forces on Wednesday, May 11th. She was covering the Israeli raid on the Janin refugee camp in the occupied West Bank when she was killed. Another Palestinian journalist, Ali Al Samudi, was also wounded in the shooting. He was shot in the back and was admitted to a hospital where he was reported to be in stable condition. Israeli forces had killed two Palestinian journalists in a similar way in April 2018 when they were covering the Great March of Return protests. According to the Committee to Protect Journalists, at least 18 journalists have been killed in Israel Palestine since 1992. According to Reporters Without Borders, in the last four years, at least 144 Palestinian journalists have been exposed to violence by the Israeli security forces. Israel has recently been carrying out repeated raids in Palestinian villages, making random arrests. Shirin Abu Akla is only the most recent victim of Israeli state policy. Um, I say state policy because the killing of Shirin in Jenin by Israeli troops uh, is not accidental. It's something that um, it repeats constantly. There's so many attacks on, on journalists. Um, and it's not just the Israeli state. Um, Shirin worked for Al Jazeera. Al Jazeera reporters in Iraq faced a direct and deliberate attack. Um, so many examples of reporters these days being attacked, um, not just again in Palestine, not just again in Iraq, uh, but across the world, reporters feeling the edge of, um, you know, uh, state um, anger, state animosity at reporters who are not necessarily dissidents, but people just trying to bring the reality of, of stories in the world. Um, Shireen was a brave reporter. Since 1997, she reported, um, you know, uh, vividly about the Israeli apartheid occupation of the Palestinians. Uh, she was the voice of Palestine, a familiar face in living rooms, in offices across Palestine. People um, followed her to understand what was happening uh, from Jenin to Gaza. Uh, from 1997 till 2022, um, she was, you know, somebody who played a major role in identifying the kind of uh, atrocity which is um, the Israeli apartheid project. Um, it's devastating that she has been killed. According to the Palestinian Ministry of Health, Israel has killed at least 50 Palestinians since the beginning of this year inside the occupied territories. 14 Palestinians were killed by Israeli forces in the same period last year. The majority of the Palestinians killed were protesting the Israeli raids being carried out in their villages or refugee camps inside the occupied West Bank. In April alone, 23 Palestinians were killed and over a thousand were arrested by the Israeli forces in such raids. The increase in Palestinian fatalities is an indication of Israel's renewed emphasis on the use of force against all forms of peaceful Palestinian resistance. In December, the Israeli government had given permission to its security forces to open fire on unarmed demonstrations. The government's decision to promote Orthodox Jewish visits in the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound during Ramadan led to large-scale protests in occupied East Jerusalem and other occupied territories. The murder of the veteran journalist have, has received international condemnation. Al Jazeera issued a statement calling Akleh's killing a cold-blooded assassination and an intentional targeting and killing. The Palestinian Authority and the Qatari government also issued condemnations of the killing of Akleh. The Palestinian Authority said in a statement that the presidency holds the Israeli government fully responsible for this heinous crime.